What's up guys, so I'm going through some lighting setups because uh, my last video was terrible. I'm using the Canon M50 Mark II, uh, but I was using 4K and I have to sit so far back because of the image crop. So I'm back to 1080, 1080 resolution and I'm doing something a little different with my light. I kind of have the key light, but I have like a, a, a shirt over it that's gonna be like, make it sort of like a China wall or something. And I'm gonna turn on these lights too. And I'm actually gonna put on this makeup. There we go. So I'm gonna be putting on this uh, makeup as well um, because my face gets really oily, but let's see what that actually looks like. Uh, but this is like all the stuff that I, the, the kind of behind the scenes that I never really talk about or discuss, but this is like what I do. So let's, let me try to make my face normal and regular. I'll have to take a mirror and like you know, make sure it's the powder's not showing, but I just kind of want to do a real time look at like how much the powder helps because I do have a shiny head. And the reason why I have a shirt over my the key light, I'm using a ring light with a shirt over it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the key light to be soft. I just want to make sure that I don't have any. Okay, it looks like it's pretty good. So, it should be all I need for that. I just wanna have my skin nice and soft. All right. So now I'm gonna just gonna hook my phone up to uh, this camera so I can, so I don't have to keep pressing on and off like this. Okay, so I'm now connected to the app and and it looks, it looks so much softer than it was. My other videos, my last video was so terrible. But I actually want to, I can use this phone to also connect to my other lights. So I want to do that now as well. So we'll just see how this looks. So I'm going to be using my newer lights and they have trash bags over them. They look like this. So trash bags are just to make them a little softer. Okay. Okay, so I think I wanna make this light cooler and this light warmer. So now this light is warm. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, maybe even a little warmer, but I'm gonna change this light to cool. And I have to stand up to do that. So that's as cool as it gets. So I have a cool light and I have a warm light. For this light, I'm gonna turn down. Oh, I can't actually turn it down anymore. Since I can't turn it down anymore, I'm gonna move it further away. So something like this. Okay. Let's pause. Okay, so uh, 
I think this actually looks okay, but let's, let's, um... I'm just turning down the shutter speed. Oh, it looks like it's not focused on me. Make sure I... Make sure I'm in focus. So it looks like 250 is like decent. I don't know if that's too dark though. This might be a better. So there's also these lights. So maybe something like that. Might be a little bright though. I think I prefer this one, but I don't know if that's too, uh, sometimes it jitters. ISO is at 400. Should I bring the ISO lower? Now the ISO is at 250. Shutter speed is at 200. I never know like the, I never know the exact right settings. 125. So it looks like as the shutter speed goes up, it gets darker, which I actually prefer, but it's only it makes that light really start flickering, which I don't like. So that's the only problem with there, because I feel like I would like this better, but that light, that light just keeps flickering. It's the only way to make it not flicker is if it's brighter. Yeah, let's turn it off. But I do have this, so let's turn this on. So that's purple back there. I'm also not really in the center. Put something like this. Let's see what happens if we put this in a different light. Okay, so we have something like that, but then I feel like I'm not lit enough now. I feel like I'm a bit too dark. Now this is with this light right overhead. That might actually look better. And I can probably still make it a little brighter. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the brightest that it goes. I think that might actually be nice. I think I like the shadows. I'm not certain, but I think I like the shadows. Hmm. I wish I could use this light, but... So I do have another light. Oh, I wanna change this to... I'm gonna see what it looks like if this is like purple. That's pink. What if we turn this off? I would like to get everything like perfectly aligned and like set up. So I do have another light here. Okay, here it is really bright. Here it is not so bright. And that's off. All right, let's turn this one off. And let's see what happens if I turn this on and point it towards me. It's in my frame. So that seems to make a weird th thing on my head right here. I'll just do pink again, but sort of angle it so it kind of looks like it's coming from that. And it's also nice if I'm move up, up a little bit closer because we want to get that depth of field in there. So I think something like this might be, might be optimal, I believe. Let's see, what if we put, 
What do I feel like I'm still not in focus? I moved it mo a little bit more drastically over there, which I think I might kind of like. I move this to the very side of my face. Oh, there you can see it coming into frame. So now I'm bringing it so this is like almost directly over. Is it in frame? Oh, it's in frame a little bit. You can see the shirt a little bit in frame. But this actually might, I don't know. I don't know how, I can't tell if I'm gonna like it or not. Might be a little too much. Oh, uh, no, I wanna switch if I make this cold and this warm. So now this one's warm. Make this one cold. And a little brighter. So now this one's warm. Now the big key light is warm. And this one is cool. So we'll see what that looks like. This cold and this warm. But this hat might actually be nice. But I wanna do I wanna do an outro. So I wanna do one. I think I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna switch them back. But I wanna do an outro. Hopefully my eyes aren't too dark here. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to learn more, you'll love my Skillshare classes. Just go to drugfreedave.com. You'll find more information. I have tons of 2D and 3D classes, and I will get you right with your 2D and your 3D in Nomad Sculpt. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, so that was pretty good. Let's try a different lighting setup, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, now I switched to cool and warm thank you so much for watching the tutorial if you want to learn more you'll love my skillshare classes i have a bunch of 2d classes with procreate and i have a bunch of 3d classes with nomad sculpt so make sure you check those out you'll love them they're just way more structured than the youtube stuff so if you're really ready to learn skillshare with me drug free dave is the place to go all right keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video all right, so let's, let's try this with different lights back here. So let's turn this to white. Let's turn this light to white. Um, let's bring this around a little bit to the front and let's see what that's like. So now it's a little bit brighter in front of my face. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel balanced for some reason. I don't know what it is. Turn that off. Well, let's try this one. I think I might have just turned it off when I didn't mean to. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn more, definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to drugfreedave.com. You'll find all the information you need. I have previews of all my Skillshare classes, uh, 2D and Procreate and 3D and Nomad Sculpt. I have a bunch and if you really wanna learn, that's the place to go. All right, make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Drug Free Dave, all that good stuff. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you wanna learn more, Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to drugfreedave.com. You'll find all the information you need. I have previews of all my Skillshare classes, uh, 2D and Procreate and 3D and Nomad Sculpt. I have a bunch and if you really wanna learn, that's the place to go. All right, make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Drug Free Dave, all that good stuff. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. You know, it might actually be nice to either turn that light around behind me or just put the light up here on the thing facing up. That might actually be be nice. All right, so now I just put the my little mini LED on the table facing up so we'll be able to see what that looks like. I feel like this is a little bit too bright. Right in my fosh. This might be a little too close. What if I have it pointing the other way? 
so much stuff that I'm like battling against. <laughs> Always. And you can and you can see it, but that's alright. Do I even need this? It'll probably be too bright without it. I think I need something stronger than the plastic bag. Okay, so I put the other light really low so that it hits. So I have the little piece of muzz on it, but I think that might actually look pretty good. And I like that it's nothing is flickering back there. I think that's much, much better. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Let's try the backlight. Let's turn it pink. Okay, so this is one, but that's like purple actually. So that it matches the pink. So here's pink, it's a little brighter. Uh, it's kind of interesting. That would be kind of an interesting thing. You see the shadow? Let's turn this light up a little bit. Here. Let's make it, let's make it really warm. So now we have, this is really warm and this one is really cool. So let's do another one. Let's do another one like this. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you want to see more, be sure to check out my Skillshare classes. They're uh, they're more structured than the YouTube classes, and if you really want to learn, that's where uh, you need to go. What am I even saying? Turn that light down So Yeah, let's turn it down to about there. I wish I could get this a little brighter. Let's see what happens if I bring it down a little bit. So now it's down a bit lower. It is brighter. Let's try another one. Thank you guys so much for watching the um, Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you want to see more, if you thank you guys. Okay, cut. Pause. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D Skillshare classes in Procreate and also 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Like I can't remember what the program is. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate, 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Just go to drugfreedave.com. You'll find all your information. I have some class previews and things like that. Uh, I hope to see you in class. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, uh, Instagram. Everything is Drug Free Dave. Uh, so follow me there. And if you post your work, I'm more than happy to share it on my stories. I love sharing my students' work. All right, so keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. So let's turn this off. Have a look at just regular, normal. That might look nice. I don't know. Let's bring everything to the computer and see how it looks. Um, if anyone stuck with me to watch this, I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's just a random lighting test, but uh, I really appreciate anyone who's watching and I appreciate the community and anyone watching my tutorials and any of the videos. Uh, I, I want to do more of this kind of stuff. So I'm having a lot. I'm having a great time creating this content and I enjoy that people are really enjoying it because I like making it and I want to make more. So make sure you hit like. Uh, if you want to just go crazy, you can like some of my other videos too. Uh, help me out. I appreciate that support. Uh, you can check out the Skillshare classes. Um, but most of you probably already know about those. Uh, I really enjoy teaching on Skillshare. They're just a bit more structured. So it's like, it'd be anywhere from like 10 to 12 classes to like 30 something classes. But it's mostly because I have to record in 4K. So I, I have to break it down into 12 minute uh, videos. So sometimes, you know, there's a lot of videos, but it's, that's why, because I want to have the best quality. Uh, yeah, I feel like it might be too dark but that's okay. But anyway, um, yeah, well, I'll see you in the next video. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. That's the cat. I just want to see how this is with me back here. Cause this actually doesn't, fe doesn't feel that bad. Let's turn on this other light. Let's see. It's off. I probably don't even need that much of this light. Honestly, I can probably bring this a little closer. I just want to see how this is like this, because I mean, if I could just do if I could do it relaxing and just chilling with this, I feel like I have a lot of space here. So I kind of like that. I like the, I think there's more of a, 
Is it not focusing? I feel like it's not focusing on my eye. It's definitely not focusing on my eye. So now I turn on servo autofocus. Is it trying to focus on me? It's focusing on me now. Should I do one last one? Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. If you want to learn more, be sure to head over to drugfreedave.com. You can see all my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate, 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. So if you're serious about learning, there is one last thing I want to try. I want to, I want to point the light towards my back. These towards my back. So we'll see how that looks. Okay, so now it's faced. I just want to see if there's a difference. Can't really tell. That's bright. Okay, so now it's pointing towards my back. I just want to see if I can... I can't really feel any difference. All right, that's it. I'm done, I promise.